Hello, uh, just a quick video. A few days ago, a girl contacted me. She was on an island out in the Gulf of Thailand and she found a dog that appears to have been caught in a trap. It's probably gonna lose its leg. I, I would say it, there's a good chance it will lose its leg, but she was beside herself and she didn't know what to do. So, so she got to the mainland, she hops in a taxi and she starts on the five hour trip to Patea. And she's messaging me from the taxi saying, what can we do, what can we do? And I'm like, well, far out. I, I don't really know, but I, I have a, you know, my, my, my social media presence is pretty good. So, you know, I'll, I'll put something on my Facebook page and see what we can come up with. And um, as she's driving here, I put one post up, one single post up, and uh, just asking for, for people to help because we have this dog and I don't know what she's going to do. We, you know, she's going to take it to the vet. It's going to need an operation. Anyway, within 48 hours, you guys had donated over 40,000 baht. So within two days, uh, 40,000 baht, more than 40,000 baht came in. Um, that, that is just incredible. Now, Aussie the dog, as, as we speak, is in the surgery now. And tonight, as, as I'm making this video, his surgery is going to happen. If you haven't seen this post, you can follow Nicole's page and the progress of Aussie the dog because now she she doesn't need your money anymore she doesn't need anything from you anymore she um she has enough money for the surgery the recovery and probably six months worth of food but if you stroll down my wall on my Facebook page you'll see a picture of um Aussie the dog and Nicole in bed together now that's not as kinky as it sounds but it's actually a nice picture it's uh they're both in bed asleep and that's the picture I use that's the picture I took off her page and used uh, to appeal to you guys to help out with this dog and just awesome thank you so much and but this is not new I, I arrived in Thailand in 2009 and since then with your help um, we have we have taken families off the street we have put them in accommodation we have helped kids with schooling um, my room now is, is full of stuffed toys and these stuffed toys will go to an orphanage when, when I get enough of them all. Even the girls, even the girls that I see, as the Western boyfriends buy them these stuffed toys, they bring them here. And when, there's, when my, my place is finally full of stuffed toys, we send them off to an orphanage. You know, um, the dog food, the dog food you've helped me out with over the years. Uh, the collars we put on the dogs. I, I put one post on my Facebook page asking for collars because if we put collars on the dogs then the dogs will not get taken off the street and end up at the crocodile farm as food. I now have over 200 collars. Uh, I've, I've got enough collars for the next two years for the dogs. A, a lot of you will remember little Koi, Koi the girl in the wheelchair. There was this girl in a wheelchair and she lived she lived three kilometers out, right out past Third Road. And every day she'd come into Patea, it'd take her over three hours. Take her over three hours to wheel herself in this wheelchair. And then at night she'd have to wheel herself home. She'd sell lottery tickets. She'd come into Patea, sell lottery tickets, and wheel herself home at night time. Well, sometimes I used to actually push her home at night because it was so far, and I'd actually push her wheelchair home. And by me pushing her home, I could take an hour off her trip. One night I'm pushing her home and I'm, I'm like, fuck this shit. I'll, I'll put a post on my Facebook and just see what we can do. Just see what we, we can do. I, I think I put one post on my page and we ended up buying her a 60,000 baht electric wheelchair. We, we bought her this fucking, I'll, I'll actually post a pic. I'll actually go back and post a pic of some of the things that we've done in the, in the past. We bought her this wheelchair now when she rides her wheelchair home she can overtake motorbikes this fucking thing is faster than motorbikes she's fucking caning it because she, she lives across three major roads we'd have to cross three major roads to get her home and you know as you can appreciate in a wheelchair you've got to wait for a pretty long break in traffic it can it can take 10 minutes just to get across one of these roads but now she has this wheelchair she's overtaking motorbikes on the on her way home um thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so much i can't thank you enough for everything that you've done to help me in this country since 2009 since i've arrived you know thailand can be the greatest country on earth but it also can be the country that breaks your heart every time you walk outside and um, I appreciate so much everything you guys have done and 
Ozzy appreciates what you've done. He's getting his operation now. As you see this video now, Ozzy is in for his operation. He's being operated on tonight. Please follow Nicole's page and follow the progress of Ozzy. Um, Nicole's talking about coming to Patea and, and, and doing something regards an elder, animal shelter because we don't really have one here. We don't really have anything set up that for, to help the stray animals. So, so hopefully she will do that. Follow her. Follow the progress of Aussie, and, and thank you so much. And this was just a quick video. Now I have an iPad. I'm finally in the 21st century. Um, I can do things like this because normally this would be a 2,000 word post and I just wouldn't bother doing it. So I just wanted to uh, show my gratitude for everything you guys have helped with since I arrived in Thailand in 2009 because we've done a lot. We can't change the world. We cannot change the world, but we can make the world a better place for people like Koi, uh, and for little dogs like Ozzy. So um, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And until next time, uh, have a good day. Thank you.